Hi, I'm going to show you how to get the candy machine ID of an NFT if it exists. So some candy machine, uh, some NFTs are minted with a candy machine, some are not. And I'm, uh, and so first I'll show you how to get it, how to figure that out on the Explorer, the Solana Explorer, and then also how to figure that out using the blockchain API. Um, so the blockchain API is something we built. Uh, you can use any coding language to, to get the, uh, the candy machine ID. And uh, we'll, in this tutorial, we'll use Python. So first on the Explorer, uh, this NFT, I know it has been minted with a candy machine. This one uh, has not been. So uh, well, I'll just show you really quick. You scroll down here, you go to the first transaction in the history of transactions of this NFT. And you click that first one, okay? And it'll list, the, and you scroll down, it'll list the instructions within that transaction. And the very last one, contains the program, the candy machine ID program right here. Okay, so uh, that's how I know. This one, uh, if you go down here, you go to the first transaction. This, the first transaction, by the way, is the one where the NFT was created. So that's why I'm going to that first one. Um, and you scroll down and, uh, you know, it was not. It was used, uh, the can it was not created with the candy machine program. Okay, so now let's figure this out with uh, code. So the first thing to do is um, let's go to docs.theblockchainapi.com and go to Solana NFT, get the ID of, a can I, of uh, the candy machine of an NFT. Okay, so first, um, first click, uh, yeah, so first we'll need the mint address and the network. We have both of those. I'll show you how to get them. And then uh, we need an API key pair. So click here and get a pair for free. It'll give you these two, okay? And then just copy and paste them into the program. So I'm just gonna set proper variable names for them. Okay. So, and then the next thing, because we're gonna use Python, is pip install the blockchain API. I already have it installed. Once you have it installed, go up here and click from the blockchain API import, the blockchain API resource and Solana network. Okay. So first thing is initialize the resource. The resource is the class that contains all the functions that we're gonna use. And uh, we just pass in our headers once on the initialization of that class. And then it'll, I mean the API key pair, and then it'll uh, set the headers for every single API call. So we don't have to do that. So now resource dot get candy machine ID from NFT. So remember the two parameters are mint address and the network. So we already know we're gonna use mainnet beta, okay? Now if you remember the monkey one has, was minted with an NFT. I mean, was, was minted with a candy machine. So we already know that that will work. So we need the mint address. The mint address is the address of the NFT. So you can find that right here. It is not the mint authority, which is right here. So first copy that and I put that right here. Okay. And uh, I'm going to run this program. Great. So I got the candy machine ID here. Okay. So I can look up that candy machine and I can see other, um, I can see all the transactions for that. So I can just click a random one. And if I go down to the tokens of it, um, it involves the tokens. See, it has this token right here, token balances. This is probably an NFT. Yep, so it's another one within the collection. Okay, so now let's try to get it for this NFT, which was not minted with a candy machine, and it should throw an exception. Um, if you are, yeah, so it says NFT does not have a candy machine ID. Could have been minted with that one. Um, if it's able to throw an exception because it's using a wrapper, which throws the exception. But if you're just using the API, it should throw um, either, a, I think, a 404. So um, or either a 404 or 400. Uh, but yeah, so that's, um, that's, uh, that's basically it. So yeah, if you have any questions, feedback, comments, feature requests, please add them in the comments. And uh, I'd love to hear them. So thanks so much. Have a great day.